Growing up, I really hated being hairy. I was becoming very depressed and it was like a burden. And so I was like, okay, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of feeling like I have to look a certain way to be beautiful. So I decided to embrace fully my chest hair. Wow, oh, this is yeah. so nice. <laughs> I feel just a little bit nervous to go out with my outfit for the first time. When I was 11, I started noticing my body hair, mostly because I wanted to wear this dress that was like a v-neck. When I saw my friends reacting to my body hair, they made such an exaggerated reaction. So in that moment, I knew that I was different and something was wrong with my body hair. I have chest hair and I'm very hairy because of my genetics. <laughs> Mom, you have to help me again, because it, uh, it came out, yeah. I'm half Haitian and half Ivorian, and on my like Ivorian side, um, I'm from this tribe called Wé, and in this tribe, the women are very, very hairy. In my side of the family, we don't have, we're not hairy. We're human. Some people have more than the other. Euh, bon, depuis la Côte d'Ivoire, euh, et dans la tribu de laquelle je viens, puisque je viens de la tribu des Wé, les femmes là-bas ont beaucoup de, de, de poils. I didn't think it was strange, I thought it was totally normal. At the time of like my great-grandmother, it was seen as beautiful. So, as you can see, things have changed. <laughs> okay, thanks. Growing up, I had a really love-hate relationship with my body hair. Well, mostly hate. <laughs> I had to get it removed, waxing, and then I bought my razor, and electrolysis on my face. And I used to like wear high-waisted pants just so that nobody could see the hair on my stomach. Like none of my friends knew I had chest hair, like nobody knew. I really started questioning myself and questioning society and being like, why am I doing this? Why am I removing my chest hair? I was becoming very depressed. And so I was like, okay, I'm tired of feeling like I have to look a certain way to be beautiful, you know? That's when I decided to um, embrace fully my chest hair. I'm sewing a dress. I like making clothes for fun. Um, obviously, I'm a beginner. <laughs> I'm not a pro yet, but I'm still practicing. And so in 2019, I made a dress for the first time that showed my chest hair, and I took pictures. I want to show people that you could look classy, you could look beautiful and have body hair, have chest hair. Showing my chest hair felt like I had no more secrets. I shared this project with the world through images, but I wasn't going out with my chest hair because I didn't know if I was ready to do that and to, in public and like go to the mall and things like that. I mostly like make outfits for Instagram to like show my body hair, but I decided to challenge myself and make something where I could actually like go out with. When I saw like all the positive reactions and people messaging me and people even like telling me how they cried and they were happy to see someone, well, someone like them, you know? And it helps them feel normal. I knew that my project became bigger than me and I had to like continue doing what I was doing. Yes, I made it like right there. <laughs> at first, I, oh, at first, I, I didn't, I didn't really like it. The negative reactions I got is just like mostly like guys, gross or like ew. Oh, you should shave or something like that. I don't take it personally. I'm like okay. And then my perspective of uh, hair, of girls that have hair, uh, started changing, and I and I saw that it can actually look good on women. I feel just a little bit nervous to go out with like my outfit for the first time, but I'm also excited, so I can't wait to do this. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't shave, but I do not have that much hair. But the more I was seeing it, the more I was seeing in her and more opening my eyes, changed my perspective of beauty. So I believe that her body and her hair is is like uh, a muse. 
Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous avez des questions sur le menu? Oui. Euh, je vais prendre la salade à la sucre. <laughs> you know, I feel normal actually with my own outfit. It's like a little nerve-wracking, but I feel completely fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was someone who shouted, uh, "Nice hair, Wakanda forever!" Yeah. <laughs> People are willing to spend hundreds, thousands, millions for for to change their entire look just to look like what's the norm today is like ridiculous. I want women to be able to be like, hey, if I don't feel like shaving, I'm not gonna shave. If I feel like embracing who I am and feel like embracing my body hair, I will. When I went out with my dress, I felt like really, really beautiful. <laughs> I, I was showing my chest hair, I was showing my leg hair, and I wasn't afraid. It was fun. <laughs> like, I really want women and people to feel comfortable with their own body. We often want others to like stay in their lane and not stand out because it makes us uncomfortable. Every time we try to kind of like love ourselves, it's seen as a sort of like rebellion. I'm not trying to be provocative, I'm just being me.